Gosh, I didn't think that was ever gonna shut off. So I'm gonna tell you to candle these floats. I've had it soaking, you know, in the tank over there and you just wanna make sure there's no water, visible water in there. And uh, when you put a flashlight up to it, you can, I can't, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but you can, you can see in that float really well and, you know, shake it, shouldn't feel any water. Uh, take a flashlight and, and candle it. You shouldn't see any cracks or water or anything in it. Okay, so that's the float. Um, yeah, it's a little dark with age, but other than that, it looks fine. It looks good. I didn't see any defects on it, so. Okay, another tidbit. Okay, here's the last carburetor, the bottom one going back together. Got the bowl's pretty well cleaned out. Um, let's see here, there's the new float needle seat. Takes two needles and seats for each one of these carbs, don't forget that. You think three carbs, you think you need three needle and seat sets, and that is wrong. You won't have enough if you only get three. All those air holes, look at that. Tons of them up there. Tons of them. There's that air jet in there, bleed air jet. Um, yeah, this thing is so clean. It's just, it, I don't know if it looks as clean as it feels, but wow. Really nice and clean. Okay, I am going to uh, put DC4 on these gaskets and put this last one together and check the float height. Um, I'm setting them to about a sixteenth of an inch uh, below the, when you, when you hold up the, when you hold this up and the floats are hanging down, I, I'm setting them to a sixteenth of an inch below the, the level of the, the bowl. So that's what the book said to do and uh, I think there's some differing opinions out there, but but it, that's pretty close to where they were. Uh, the only problem is, is they weren't this. They weren't. Um, they weren't. I, they weren't the same. I mean, they on each on one carburetor, one float, was hanging down a quarter of an inch, and the other one was a sixteenth of an inch. So it definitely needed some work. Okay, I'll put this back together, and I'll get right back with you. Oh, I can show you. Here's the other two. And uh, as I get them done, I'm just labeling them which, which ones they are. So that was the top carb, that was the middle carb. And then I'm doing the last one. And then I get to put them back on and I'm trying to really hurry because I have uh, I got an appointment today that I need to get to. Um, it's actually for the boat. So anyhow, okay, gotta go, see you soon. Okay, carbs are back on. One, two, three. I haven't put the, um, uh, I don't know what you call that, adapter plate on the front yet, because I am in the process of degreasing the bolts. And here's this side. They are hard to get to, I will say that. And I don't have the oil tank on here because I pre-mix. So, okay, there you go. Just a few more minutes and I should be able to finish that. Uh, put the bolts in. I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on the bolts because I would not want one of them to get sucked into the engine. That could cause a myriad of problems, right? Okay. Are you there? Okay, well, we are just getting ready to leave here. It's kind of hard to see here in the sun. Carbs are back on. Got the post under the back. Lower unit's back on. I already had it off once today. looks pretty out here in the sun.
here we'll get that carpet changed it'll look even better plus we sell it before then definitely um, accept a good offer on this boat I got the helix fish finders removed right now because we're headed over to spearfish with it gonna have the dealership over there take a quick peek at my cooling system just to make sure that everything is good sometimes I don't trust myself okay 